This is Becky Nunn of Nunn Design as a guest designer for Beautaholic. I'd like to show you how to create a faux enamel, French enamel look, such as these pieces here. What you'll need to create this project is to have watched the video about how to add opaque pigments to two-part resin to create flat tags like these. You'll need some cups and some business cards. You'll need a little thing of water, the non-designed sealant, some Q-tips, scissors, paintbrush, and some transfer sheets, also by Nundesign. You'll want to go ahead and trim out some of the words that you would like to work with from the Nundesign transfer sheets. Transfer sheets are a film front with the paper back, and how you separate the film front and place it onto the flat tag is by dropping it into water. I poured a little bit of my water into my little plastic cup and it'll take about 30 seconds for the paper to detach from the front of the transfer sheet. It'll kind of curl up like a little potato chip and then start to flatten out. Once 30 seconds have gone by, or if you're eager and want to see, you can pick it up by bringing it over to the side and fishing it out. I often work with a bowl. It might be easier with a bowl than it is with a little cup like this. You want to see if the film has started to separate, and it has. See how the film is sliding off the paper back? You want to keep the paper back in position because the back of the film is slightly tacky, and that's what's used to adhere it. Go ahead and slide your image, I'm just making sure my surface doesn't have any dust, onto the flat tag that you've applied the epoxy, the opaque colorized resin onto. Once you have your word in position where you like it, you want to use your Q-tip to burnish it down. I start in the center by just pressing firmly to kind of make sure that it's tacked down and then you'll slowly start to burnish and you want to be very gentle because this film can rip very easily. If for whatever reason your film isn't sticking and it seems to be sliding, you want to use a little bit of the non-designed sealant on the base of it first and then apply your transfer sheet over the top. That just gives it a little extra gooeyness to stick to. Once your word is in position and you like where it is and it's burnished down, you'll use the non-design sealant to create a coating on the top. I went ahead and put my flat tag with my word already on it onto a business card. This allows me to be able to pick it up and move it around very easily without getting my fingers close to the sealant that I'll be applying over the top. I'll also want to have a small little cup so that I can place it over the top once I put my sealant on and prevent from any kind of dust or cat hair or lint from getting into the pieces. You'll also want to have a glass of water to rinse your paintbrush and the non-design sealant. So take your paintbrush and just dip a little bit of an undesigned sealant on, and then just paint it right over the top, of, the top of the surface. I'm just going ahead and putting it all over the top of it. So any edges that you might have seen when you placed it on, the undesigned sealant helps blend that edge together. And then you'll just want to put a little cup over the top and let it sit there for about an hour until the sealant is dry. Once your pieces are dry, you'll have these great faux enamel tags like these that you could add onto a charm bracelet or use as a pendant. And these pieces I'll probably make into a pair of earrings. But aren't those just too much fun? This is kind of the outtakes of how I came up with figuring out how to use the transfer sheet. I knew I wanted to put an image onto my pigment 
resin over the flat tags and so I thought originally that I could do it with rubber stamping and I can but some of the things that I found is that the rubber stamping kind of looked a little funky and that's cool in itself but then I was curious like what would happen if I didn't uh, rubber stamp it just right and I didn't want to wreck my tag so on this one you can see I had rubber stamped it well originally what I did is I rubber stamped it and it didn't work or I made it not work so then I took a piece of fine grit sandpaper and I sanded it over to see what would happen. And then it wasn't working. But then I was curious, could I metal stamp it? And I tried metal stamping it and that didn't work either. So that's when I came up with the idea of using the transfer sheet. This is Becky Nunn with Nunn Design, a guest designer for Beautaholic. I hope that you'll be able to make these faux enamel flat tags. They're just too much fun.